Hello, I'm Pete Saris, Director of the Clean Energy Conversions Lab at Penn. This fall, our team moved to the University of Pennsylvania and opened our lab under the direction of Jennifer Wilcox, who was appointed as Presidential Distinguished Professor of Chemical Engineering and Energy Policy. She was the first faculty hire at Penn's Climate Center for Energy Policy. In January, Jen took leave from this new position to serve on President Biden's team at the Department of Energy. I'm sure she would love to be here with you all to explain what we do. Fortunately, we're able to bring Jen to you through this short video, recorded last February when she was a Climate Center visiting scholar. In order to meet our climate goals, it's going to take a portfolio of solutions. And although the work that I'm going to talk about is about removing carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere and the different approaches to do that, it's not a silver bullet. And it doesn't mean that we can keep emitting fossil fuels. We have to deep decarbonize all sectors and remove CO2 that's been accumulating in the atmosphere since the start of the Industrial Revolution. It doesn't smell, we can't see it, it's difficult, but we're really feeling the impacts of the climate crisis and we need to start treating it like a waste and figuring out solutions to deal with it. As Jen points out, our research focuses on carbon management, in essence, the mechanisms by which we divert CO2 from atmospheric accumulation. Carbon management covers a broad range of approaches, from capture of CO2 at point sources in the electric and industrial sectors, to engineer to atmospheric drawdown of CO2 via chemical reactions and formation of stable carbonates. Equally important is the fate of captured CO2, whether we store it underground in mineral formations or convert it into usable low carbon commodities like plastics and fuels. Our research group aims to understand the overall environmental impact and costs of these management practices. We also connect our engineering research to effective policy and the work we do with the Climate Center. Our end goal is to curb our trajectory away from catastrophic warming effects. Climate change is the largest challenge of our lifetime and requires immense human capital to assure that current and future generations alike have access to the quality of life we may now take for granted. The work we put in today will directly affect the welfare of others tomorrow, especially those in a position to feel the brunt of climate-related impacts. I thought you might enjoy hearing from two PhD students about how they got involved with this research and get their insights and how you could get involved. Hi, my name is Max Oshoda and I'm a first year PhD student in the Clean Energy Conversions Lab. I'm currently working on a project that will capture the CO2 from a flue gas stream from a natural gas combined cycle power plant. I'm also working on a review paper that investigates decarbonization pathways for industrial kilns and furnaces. This is, this is particularly important for the cement, lime, glass, and iron and steel industries. I also recently just finished up a project where I was modeling direct air capture contactors and the inner contactor spacing that's needed to ensure the efficient use of capture chemicals. During my senior year of undergrad, I was offered a full-time engineering position at a major food and beverage company. And I turned down the job offer a lifetime because I wanted my energy and my education to go towards a bigger cause. And when I finally found carbon capture, both the science and policy involved in it, I thought I'd found that bigger cause. I could have chosen to take any number of desk jobs across the country at any number of companies, but I wanted to do more with my education. I wanted to drive change. I first met Professor Wilcox while I was in South America on a research trip, and soon after meeting, she offered me the chance of a lifetime by offering me a position in her lab, and I haven't looked back since. I first became involved in climate change mitigation technologies at the end of my undergraduate career when I joined the Colorado Fuel Cell Center at the Colorado School of Mines. While at the Fuel Cell Center, my research primarily focused on energy storage technologies. This provided me the avenue to learn about the importance of a decarbonized grid and piqued my interest in carbon capture to address these emissions more directly. When I was considering different research groups to join in the future, I started reading a lot of publications that were put out by, by professors in this space. One of the best publications and one of the best resources that I found was Dr. Wilcox's carbon capture textbook. Not only did it provide me with crucial foundational knowledge in this area, but it also came in handy when I was applying to research in her group for grad school. There are plenty of ways for students to get involved. Start by taking relevant classes and apply for experiential learning grants. Go to on-campus events just like this one and explore the Climate Center for Energy Policy. They offer student grants, coursework, internships, and even a certificate in energy management and policy. 
A piece of advice is to apply to a research position, whether it be for undergrad or graduate studies. While, while applying, you should definitely read at least one publication written by the professor in which you are applying to. However, don't let it get you down if you don't understand all of the information that's presented in this publication. Believe me, the professors and their students have a lot more time to discover and digest this information than you might have just getting through the publication. At Penn, explore groups like the Kleinman Center, the Science Policy and Diplomacy Group, or start by reading and watching introductions to our field. Our group recently published Carbon Dioxide Removal Primer, or you could watch Professor Wilcox's lecture at the Kleinman Center last spring. I go to sleep at night with the satisfaction of knowing that my work is directly impacting the solution to the climate crisis.